Hello, you have made it to step seven. So this is the second to last step. We are almost done with this whole process and you're almost ready to move into your new home. This is the title commitment and the appraisal step. So while everything else is going on, the title company has been doing their part to do their due diligence on the home, research any open permits, any liens on the house, and find out if there's anything legally that is wrong with the property from the past and any, any way that it's been handed down. And they check all of that for you and then they present you with a title commitment. So sometimes they'll have a couple ex exceptions, which means that they won't insure those items. So you need to make sure you look at those and you pay attention to those and you have someone that you trust look over it as well. In Florida, it's common that the seller chooses the title company, but sometimes you can negotiate to have your own title company that you trust. If not, then you can always just have your realtor reach out to somebody to review the documents and make sure that everything looks sound and okay on the title standpoint. The appraisal is basically going to be ordered by the lender and it's a way to qualify the home for the loan. The appraiser is going to do their own mini inspection of the home, make sure that everything is safe and sound and that the electrical, plumbing, roof, and the AC are all working properly. Those are the main items that they're looking at. So if he comes back and looks at the homes in the nearby area, typically within a mile radius, that have sold in six months, and he determines that the property is either at the purchase price or above the purchase price, then you're good to go. Hopefully it's above, so then you gain some automatic equity. But if it's below, then you are going to have to work with the seller and either the selling agent and the buying agent and figuring out a way to get to that property, either the purchase price lowered or to bring cash to closing and to cover that difference. Sometimes the appraiser is also going to request some repairs to get done in order for the property to be safe and sound. And that is when you will have to negotiate again for who covers that cost. So once you have a clear appraisal and a clear title commitment, then you are able to move on to step eight, which is getting that clear to close and moving into your home. So tune in next week for that last step. It's just a couple wrap up points to make sure that everything goes smoothly and that you have all the proper information to get that home of yours. If you have any more questions, my email and contact information is below. I look forward to hearing from you guys and have a great day.